What's up, Fusat? How you doing? Here I am again. Unfortunately, I don't have, you know, professional camera and equipment, but I'm trying to <laughs> record some videos about the equipment that I'm trying to revive and repair and service whatever you want. And this is one of it, Panasonic. SV 3800, 3, right? Yeah. Should be like a professional Panasonic DAT digital audio tape for uh, like uh, uh, not so much home, more like uh, radio, studio, TV use. Used to be. <laughs> And this one was in perfectly good condition. That's why it got my attention. So I have to service it and repair it. It's always like I'm thinking I'm going to keep it and stuff like that. But nah, you know what, how it goes. I, the deal is I'm not a technician or I don't know. I don't work for... I don't repair things. I'm actually a web designer. <laughs> but I like when I fix something. And you can find a lot of videos on, on this on, on eBay, on, on YouTube. So I decided oh, I, I should make another one. And I have a problem, so I'm going to show you how I solved it. So now we have a perfectly working that, but before it didn't work and it still needs some attention still still needs some work but hey it didn't play before now it's playing <laughs> the problem was of course when all those all those equipment when you when you leave it for some time in storage or somewhere else you know it's gonna need some attention, maybe some lubricant, maybe some grease is very hard now, needs to be cleaned and put some new grease, maybe some belt, whatever, capacitor. But it's worth, it's worth it. The sound is really something on this professional equipment. <laughs> they couldn't uh, you know, they have to do it properly. <laughs> mm. And if you're thinking that this speaker is playing, no, it's the bows that I modified. That brings a day so, so yeah, I'm gonna skip it like four tracks. Uh, what was the problem? Uh, when I fixed it, when I when the device start working, playing and recording, of course, everything worked normal. I was like very satisfied. I was like happy, <laughs> very happy. <laughs> but then, what happened? I decided to play some other tapes that are not recorded on SV3800. And then I realized, looking at uh, on the internet, like, oh, this device has some problem playing on the tapes. So it's not like uh, that I'm the only one that having that issue. So a bunch of tapes that I have probably, I assume, recorded on Sony that <clears throat> they were dropping there. I have a lot of issues. But when I just a little bit tweaked the azimuth, things became much better. So now, uh, adjusting that azimuth is really on the blind, as I say, it's really not a good thing to do. You need a proper thing to do is, uh, you, have, you have to have a service manual and you have to have a skill oscilloscope scope, and then you can measure with the test tape, the proper angle of your head and stuff like that, but I don't have it. 
and many people that they don't have it you maybe maybe that's why you're looking at this video <laughs> so what I did I noticed like uh, if you have couple of different tapes recorded on, on other devices such as Sony then you can maybe you know do it on your own just simple wiggle it and there is a cover on the unit of course I released the screws for the purpose of this video I don't know if I can do it with my one hand oh yeah so oopsie that was the sound of falling cover and if the light will be nice to me that I can show it to you. Oof, it's dark here but uh, there are two holes like one is here and one is here and it, if you look at those holes let me try to bring more light mm, I got some flashlight Because this is important if you see in that hole there is a like a screw but the, there is something in the middle but doesn't matter you have a flat screwdriver you can adjust it a little bit the same thing is in the other hole I cannot demonstrate it properly with this crazy lights but yeah there is one more here Uh, no, here, yeah, yeah, silly me, one is here and one is there, you can see it, there is the same kind of screw that you can adjust, I don't have a proper equipment for this, but just be patient, use a screwdriver flat, wiggle it a little bit on the left just a little bit and see if the music is getting better but since we don't trust our, our ears so much I mean uh, even if the sound is good uh, it doesn't mean that the, the, the azimuth is aligned properly we have one help from the engineers from the Panasonic so if you hold those two buttons mode reset and pause which I no way I can reach but I'm gonna try all three together counter reset and pause no I don't I'm not gonna reach that let's try again <laughs> nah. so what I have to do is like uh, press those two and pause I'm gonna press those two and then I'm gonna just try to press pause. Oh, well. Then we're gonna see another information display. We're gonna press mode again until we see number two. This is our error on our heads. As you can see, it's pretty much very low, which means that I adjusted that azimuth on the point. And the sound. The sound confirms that and I'm glad that I can demonstrate this there are many other informations here if you keep pressing mode you will see one of the information I think is the this one it's the number of hours that you have on the head of this unit so it's a neat thing to know it's this is it keep goes in the loop, but we seen what we needed to see. We needed to see um, if this that makes any huge errors, big errors, and it's not. It's doing the thing perfectly, and it sounds crispy clear. Let's say like that. <laughs> So yes, I am satisfied. I'm drinking expensive vodka, uh, tequila tonight. <laughs> because I'm playing Sony tape recorded on, on Sony DTC9059ES, 
and I have one more project to confirm if this is perfectly functional unit. I mean, it's still not. I need to grease it up a little bit, but hey, we are getting there. Uh, one more thing is, yeah, I have a Tascam DA30 MK2 that I also repaired, and I need to record tapes on that unit, so I will play it on this one. And if the tapes are the, 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 all those tapes recorded there, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, if they are playing here properly, then we are on the horse. No more trouble with Panasonic. <laughs> a funny thing, I already recorded the same video, and it was like a 15 minutes long, and now it's like 11 minutes. And I was thinking, what was I? talking more for minutes <laughs> I already said that I said before <laughs> uh, there is one more thing sharp eye will already notice that look at the door there is one screw and one is missing that's not a problem I have a bunch of screws uh, and the other thing is yeah I have to mention that uh, sometimes the, the tape would stall like when I go and press play, nothing happens, and then I have to press play again, and then it's everything begins. So I'm not sure if it's like a, I need to run this device like for a, like let's say two days and see if everything works fine, or I need to lubricate it more. I'm not sure. You see, now it's working fine. It's crazy. And yeah, I need to record more things. Uh, I think the, this unit is really good. It's real. I mean, this unit especially is perfectly fine because it's clean and everything. You look at that. It's like new. Uh, <laughs> no scratches, no nothing, nothing, nothing. All it needs is one, one screw there, and it's perfectly fine. <laughs> I was lucky. I was lucky. I was lucky to fix it, but I was lucky to have the such a perfect unit. So we have one perfectly working dot soon, perfectly working dot, and it will end up in probably some home studio. <laughs> one would ask... How come? Why would someone need that in those times when you have all those digital shit? Uh, one thing is digital analog converter. The sound of this unit, as I said, is it was not like your cheap Sony thirty dollar DVD. It was not. It was professionally made and satisfying many of us. <laughs> and the uh, swag. Look at this thing. Open. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you can write on. <laughs> it has some, you know. It you can say it's vintage, but it's not. It looks like a modern thing, you know. So I like it. That's why I decided to make this video. And maybe it will help some of you. If you have problem with that and it's working and it's dropping and you have distortion and stuff like that it could be electronical thing on sony it could be a head amplifier something like that you need to replace a couple of capacitors but it could be simple as this cleaning your heads and then adjusting your heads i know it's a kind of silly to do it without proper equipment, but I did it on my regular cassette tapes without equipment. I did it here without equipment. I think everybody can do it. And if you can do it on your VCR, because the mechanism of this unit is very similar to video, video cassette recorder, then you can probably do it here. It's not professionally. I know there are many of you who would see this and say, I who cares? It's working. Isn't that what you need? I'm gonna get into my studio and record something. It's working. 
<laughs> it's not professionally fixed, but it's fixed. Take care.